All right, so now we're going to start the Dragon Slayer quest. So we're just gonna make this its own episode since it took so long to get everything. We're going to go to our spells and we're just gonna use our strongest spell for this one. We're gonna go in Legacy because it's probably faster. So we just need all these items that'll give us uh, 18,000 strength, 18,000 defense experience. All it requires is 33 quest points. So if we were level one strength, level one defense, it would have probably brought it pretty high, but we did the other quest for defense experience. We got all these items in the last quest. All we need to do is talk to the guild master and do the quest. Uh, so we get to ask him if he has a quest for us, and then he will give us the Dragon Slayer quest. Uh, talk to Ojak in the house north of Edgeville Lodestone. That's right. So we go to home teleport, go to Edgeville. <coughs> So we haven't actually done this quest for a while. This is one of the quests that we haven't done in our characters. And for some reason we were saving them because we are going to record the quest and then we never do it. And then uh, we never need strength or defense. But maybe it would make sense to do it to get that. So if you open the door, since there's going to be a little bit of combat, go talk to him in the house. And then we just keep pressing the one button. Talk to Ojiak. Oh, press the one button. Good day to you. Can you sell me a rune plate body? He says, how does he have some? The guildmaster told me that he has rune plate bodies. So this is when rune plate bodies were probably first released into the game. Probably there's the rune chain body and then now the all powerful rune plate body has come into the game. All you have to do is slay the powerful dragon. Go back to the guildmaster and talk about the map pieces. So we home teleport to Varrock. So imagine if you're playing the game as things come out like that one person was doing on old school. <clears throat> Do play the game as everything has come out. You wouldn't have the rune plate body for some time. You have the rune chain body, you have to get it off of the enemy, but then they changed all the loot tables so you can't uh, get those off of them. So we say, go back here, talk to him in the Geldmaster. Oh, go back to the Geldmaster and learn how to get all the map pieces. Sweet. So open the door, go back here again, talk to the guild master. <laughs> and then we can just say two, <clears throat> I talked to Oziak. And then we can say, what, press one, th one, three times. So imagine if we did read the quest text, it would be all this epic build up to fighting some crazy ridiculous dragon that nobody could ever comprehend to defeat. So how can we find a road to Crandor? He says, where's Melzor's map piece? And then maybe it'll cycle through. He'll hand you a key. So, okay, hey, where is Delzer's map piece? We have to press one three times. Now we ask where is Lozer's map piece. We press the two button. And then we press the three button. And then we press the two button. How can I protect myself against the dragon? And then we press the three button. Say we are all ready to get going. Now we can obtain the map pieces. So it recommends food, combat equipment, northwest of Remington. So we home teleport to Remington, Port Serum. So we've done this quest before on old characters back way long ago. We haven't done it on new characters though, right? Because the dragon is their reason to defeat him. Usually, I guess we've just been purely, purely training our stats on trolls on all of our characters. So if we go here to the maze, we have to go through the maze, find, find the keys. Is that where most of the combat is in the game? That's where most of the combat in the game is, then it shouldn't be too difficult. Enter the road with the maze key, kill the small zombie rat with the long tail, pick up the red key and use it on the northwest door, then go up the ladder. So before we imagine it would be a kill rats until, until you get the key. But what, kill the small zombie rat with the long tail? Are you the oh, small zombie rat with the long tail? You have a short tail? Oh, you have a short tail? Would there be zombie rats in here? Oh, so we're just looking for a zombie rat with a long tail. Is that what we're learning from this? Maybe you are a zombie rat. Maybe you're a big zombie rat with a long tail? Nope. So here's the, uh, Here's the guy for the quest. <clears throat> so that's just, he has a longer tail, doesn't he? He has no tail, he has a long tail. This one. So Easter egg, they're not part of the quest, they're just part of the event. We just uh, pick up the eggs. 
So there we go. It was the small route with the longer tail, just like the quest guide says. So use it on the northwestern door. Northwestern door. So you haven't done this quest in so long. If you uh, take the wrong doors, right, it takes your key. If you screw up, then you're going to have to restart again. Restart from the beginning. Kill the thin hooded ghost with the patterned robe to receive the orange key. So the thin pattern. Are you patterned? Patterned robe? Attack you? So just attack all of them, right? Attack all of them until you find the key. Destroy the ghost until you find the key. They all should die in one hit. He had the key. Oh no, he had the key. Alright, then you take the key. Go through the door second from the north on the eastern wall. Door second from the north on the eastern wall. This one. Open the orange door. So you could open those ones and you could go into the wrong place and then you have to start over again. Climb the ladder. Kill the skeleton with the small round shield and pick up the yellow key. Small round shield. There's the one with the small round shield. Kill the one with the small round shield. Pick up the key. Kill the rock. <clears throat> Use the key on the southwest door. And climb down. Use the key on the southwest door. This door. <clears throat> so then we climb down. Hopefully we didn't screw up right there. It says, uh, climb down until you get to the zombies. Kill the zombies. One of them will drop a blue key. Pass through the blue door. So we climb down this ladder. So it is a maze, right? If you go down there, you'd have to restart. Looks like we're on the right track. And then we just go down to the basement. Where hopefully the zombies are waiting for us. Okay, so what? What's with the doors? Climb down until you get the zombies. Kill these zombies. So we just go through. Oh, here's the zombies. Attack zombie. Here's the zombies. They're in the same room here. So here's the blue key. Pass through the blue door. Kill Messer's Mad. Pick up the magnetic key. So we just kill him. He's just level 39. Pick up the magnetic key. Pass through the magnetic color door. I need to feed my oh, so he has like, uh, he talks. So let's put auto retaliate on. So we take the magnetic key, go through the magnetic door. Kill the lesser demon, pick up the green key, go through the green door. So here's where all the combat is. <clears throat> Shouldn't be too difficult, we're in Legacy, right? You just throw a hit and then you attack twice as fast, he's dead in two seconds. You have been there forever on EOC. So you take the key, and then you open the green door, open the chest and search it for the map piece. Open chest, <clears throat> search it for the map piece. So we didn't even need this food, search the chest. You find the map piece to the chest. And then climb the ladder, maybe. On fire bowl, wizard lamp up, lobster pot. So we have everything. Talk to the oracle on the ice mountain. Home teleport to Edgeville. Talk to the oracle on ice mountain. Ice mountain's right over here. So if we have all these items, it says we might be using them. Climb up Ice Mountain. Travel south into the dwarf mine. Find the room. Oh, cool. So we did that already. Well, I mean a long, long, long time ago. So as long as we did it a long time ago, we're not 100% clueless. So you would talk to the oracle. Press the one button. So I seek a piece of the map on the island of Crandor. It says the map is hidden below, find it. So then we go down to the south. Travel south into the Dwarven Mine. Find the room with the sealed door in the northeastern area of the mine and use all of the items on the magic door. All right. So we go in here, climb down the ladder. Oh, we had it. Climb down the ladder. Ladder's just right here the northeastern so it should just be literally just down to the south right if we remember correctly just down here this one 
Is it this one? Use all the items on the magic door. Unfired bull. Wizard's mind bomb. Use bull on fire on the door. Right click the wizard's mind bomb. Use the wizard's mind bomb on the door. Lobster pot or crayfish cage. Right click, uh, use crayfish cage on the magic door. And silk. Use the silk on the magic door. Its aura shines and glimmers and opens for you. Now you may enter. Open the chest to find the second map piece, third map piece, or a ranged halberd or magic weapon. We have a ranged or magic weapon. So we open it and we search the chest. You find the second map piece. Home teleport to Port Serum. Pretty sure we know where this is, right? Do we just have to kill the guy? Head to Port Serum Jail and talk to him. May need to speak with the Guildmaster at this point before you can kill him. So, can we talk to him? So, we could use auto loot. That's what we were thinking of doing. So, the jail is right here. This jail. The jail is just south of the waypoint. <clears throat> So we go talk to somebody in here, talk to the guard, no we just have to go talk to Wormbrain. Uh, talk to him, what do you want? I believe you got a map piece that we need. Oh, okay. Two ways to obtain it, kill him and use the loot interface. Oh, so we just have to kill him. So you could uh, say, attack him, attack him through the gates. Easter thief has appeared. I wonder why we're being dropped so that map piece on the floor. Alright, so then you drop any item on the ground, take item, any item, loot the map piece. That's a lot easier than doing the uh, telekinetic grab, right? You can do it at uh, any level, pretty much. You just defeat him with range. He's a level 1 enemy, he has 5 hit points. Hit him once, he drops it, then you auto loot it. So now what do we do? You use a map part on any of the other parts to complete the Crandor map. Use the map part. Oh, study map part. What you want? Use the map part on the other map. Becomes the Crandor map. Talk to him on the first test. So, home teleport to Lumbridge. Cool. So, we get to fight the dragon pretty soon. Obtaining a ship, the fight, the conclusion, the rewards. Cool. So, we get the anti dragon shield. Talk to Duke. Also, buy an anti-dragon shield from the Grand Exchange to skip this step entirely, but we don't want to skip the tap. We want to, we want the Duke to give us the anti-dragon shield. If we go through the door, up these stairs, climb staircase. Then you go talk to the Duke and tell him that you're facing a mighty powerful dragon. He'll say, wait, stop. You cannot face the dragon alone by yourself. You'll need this all-powerful shield. I seek the shield that will protect me from the dragon breath. Says Ever the dragon of Crandor. Are we sure? Yes, we are sure. Well, you are the brave man that's willing to probably get ourselves killed by fighting this dragon. So are you going to give me the shield? You can get a shield. Try to obtain an anti-dragon shield from him. Now we have the anti-dragon fighter shield, which will protect us from the fire dragon's breath. Obtaining a ship, grand or 2,000 coins, not even if we have everything to about where it's going to ask the guildmaster about the boat in Port Serum, buy a ship. <clears throat> so we home teleport to Port Serum. Should we get food first? Climb up the staircase. Let's just get rid of everything we don't need. We know we need like a ruins, everything. We don't need the pier glass. We don't need the maze key, right? Yeah, we shouldn't need those. We don't need these things. Don't need the Easter eggs, don't need our old combat equipment, don't need the ring, don't need our offhand weapon, because we're going to have the dragon shield. What we do need is food, although we'll probably bring way too much food. So now we have everything. So now we have everything. So we get home, teleport to Port Serum, and buy a boat. By the ship Lady Lumbridge from Kerosene by the Void Knight Squire. Oh, okay. And then we have to repair it. Go to Drainer Village and talk to Ned. Oh, so there's a few things we have to do here. <clears throat> so you have to go. Where is the Void Knight place? This place? Talk to Karen. Talk to Squire. If 
from kerosene over by the Fortnite place. You, trade crew member, trade crew member, kerosene, here we go. This must be the ship that we're coming to buy. And then press the, I would like to buy her. Oh, he's selling a ship. 2,000 coins, sounds good. She needs some repairs. So now repair the damaged parts of this ship. <clears throat> so I have to repair it. Oh, repair damaged deck. Ah, you nailed the final plank over the hull. You have successfully patched the hole in the deck. So what else is there? Repair the damaged parts of the ship. How many damaged parts are there? We used all of the planks. That must be it. Home teleport to Port Sarum. We are in Port Sarum. Where's Ned? Go to Drainer Village and talk to Ned. Home teleport to Drainer Village. So he must be just down to the south or something? Hopefully he is around the same spot. Because <clears throat> it just says go here, talk to Ned. Where is Ned? Is he in here somewhere? Oh, is that him? Ned? Oh, we found him. Open this door. Talk to Ned. And then what? Tell him to... Tell him? Tell me about... Talk about something else. You're a sailor. Could you take me to the island to fight the mighty dragon? Board the ship and talk to Ned. We live once, so he's going to board the ship with us and take us to fight the mighty dragon. We found a map. Oh, we give him the map. Home teleport to Port Zerum. Then we board the ship. After crashing on the island, follow the light gray path around and up to the top of the mountain. Climb down the hole. Move past the skeletons until you see Elvar behind a short wall of spikes protruding from the ground to the east. Before you climb over to him, it's advisable to open your shortcut in the wall south of the short wall. Oh, that's right. So we go over here. Board our new body, newly bottom ship. Ned should be waiting for us, hopefully. Oh, here's Ned. Talk to Ned. Talk to him, right? Tell him we're ready to go, ship. Yes, let's go. Let's go defeat the mighty dragon. So it's cool. We haven't done this quest for quite a long time. So here's us sailing to the island. <clears throat> and then there's a dragon come, like we've seen in that one cutscene. Clouds surround the ship, and a mighty dragon flies from the sky. Oh, there was the dragon, we just barely seen it. Thought we saw something above us. And then the dragon brings fighters down from the heavens. There's the mighty Alfred. Oh, no, we lost a crew member. We're gonna crash, the ship is sinking. We have been crashed on the island. How can we get back? <clears throat> so now what do we do? It says uh, climb up. So let's just uh, climb all the way up here. See if we can climb up. There's runet rocks here. We know that. We read it. Let's uh, get this thing. There's planks. Planks here. If you're free to play and you need planks, just come here. So maybe let's just try climbing up the mountain. Oh, follow the light gray path. Okay, move past these skeletons. So then we just have to go to the top here. Oh, we got up here pretty quick. How do we get up here so quick? There's all types of demons and hobgoblins. Do we go to the top here? It's just over here. King Scorpions. Do we just go in a circle? There's a mining spot here. Where's the cave entrance? Right here? How do we get there? Oh, we climb up right here, maybe. Amazing. Lesser demons level 70. Animal skulls. Oh, enter the hole. So we have the shield. Make sure you're wearing the shield, probably. So we unlock the unlock the door. So here's the mighty dragon that's been waiting for us. Uh, 
Uh, so now what do we do? Just uh, go through here. It's advisable to unlock the passage before you beat the Phoebe Dragon. Is that what it says? Before you climb over to... Advisable to open the shortcut on the west side of the wall here so you can come back here anytime you want to fight these enemies. Because if you don't open the wall, then it's uh, still locked, I guess. Oh, discover the hidden wall in the dungeon dungeon below the volcano. So we did that. That requires the quest. Unlock the secret door between Karandra and Karandra. Perfect. So now if we ever want to come back here again, uh, we can. So now we climb over the wall. Hopefully the Fifty Trader. Level 63. Attack him. So we're level 71 magic or something. So we can't uh, eat food on top of him. It just does ridiculous damage, right? 29s. 86. 45 28 What the heck? <laughs> so maybe EOC would be better, right? We could E while we're attacking? That makes sense. Can we climb over here to escape? Hopefully it lets us escape. So what do we do? Oh, they're gonna be attacking us. Are we not? Are we gonna have to come back here again? How do we get back here if we leave? So we need some place to take a breather and to uh, replenish our health and uh, figure out what we're doing. Go to settings, combat mode. Maybe, maybe EOC would be better for this situation. The lobster's on the hot bar. We have hit points. Eat the lobster. Are we gonna be able to defeat him, or is he gonna defeat us? So we got all these mage abilities that we don't have on here, right? Maybe ultimate ability? If we keep the mage book open, can we activate them here? Nine thirty-five. Sure, we're supposed to eat him on the hot bar. So we're gonna need a lot of food to defeat this guy. We can't defeat him like this. If we get to the ultimate ability or something, we get 100 adrenaline. So, are we doing better or are we basically doing the same? Jeez, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. <laughs> let's get out of here. How do we get out of here? It's a home teleport. And how do we get back here then? Home teleport to Karamtra and then we just climb down into the cave and come back? Do we need armor? We could put on our level 30 mage armor. Maybe that would help. So we home teleport to to a bank. Home teleport to Bertho. Alright, so we come back to the ship. We try to talk to Ned and he says, If you wanted to go back to Crandor again, can you find some other way? I think the voyage is cursed. Now they mention it, the secret door that we led there can't lead there. So if we go to home teleport to Karamdra. So if you home teleport here, we could go down the place and try to defeat the dragon. We uh, moved our abilities on our hot bars a little bit. We moved these here and we got our ultimate ability. So hopefully our ultimate ability kills him because we know it did uh, did a lot of damage against the black demon when we used it. When we used it when we were using EOC against him. <clears throat> I guess the ultimate ability is pretty good. 200 to 400% damage and it always hits him hopefully. So if we go over here, oh, we could have just uh, taken the port serum. We could have just talk to the guys and tell them to take you the ship to Karamdra. You could just board the ship and come to Karamdra instead of taking this waypoint. If you were free to play, all you'd have to do is talk to the guy and board the ship. So is, this isn't the place, right? This is Tazara City. Maybe over here, climb down rocks. Climb down rocks. Maybe this is it. Yeah, that is it. Alright. So now we go over here, open the door again, go try to defeat the dragon. So. so we got food on our hot bar, we got uh, everything, we got our ultimate ability there, we got some abilities queued up on the thing. Got auto retaliate <clears throat> and if we run into problems we know we could uh, climb over the wall again so this guy's not easy then right he's not he's not a your typical level 63 dragon 
We got our uh, armor on though. We got our armor on, right? We got the Batwing armor. So, is the Batwing armor reducing the damage? 795, probably not. 603. 739. 888. Yeah, this does so much damage. We're at 62%. We're burning through all of our food. Have we even hit him yet? <laughs> we don't even know. Maybe it was faster on a legacy. Maybe we were actually hitting him on a legacy. Wait for the ultimate ability. Ultimate ability has trigger, right? Just make sure you eat your food. Did it hit him? Did the ultimate ability hit him? Oh, 100% drilling. Use the ultimate ability as soon as you can. There we go. Does it hit him? 1939. Did that help? <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> we'll be back for you. Be back for you. We right click this ring and teleport to Grand Exchange. We'll be back again, I guess. Alright, so it says the super anti-fire is untradeable, but the anti-fire is tradable. So what do you do, just buy this or something? Three dose, six to 18 minutes. That should last us, I guess. Buy one anti-fire, we'll just buy a four dose potion. So if you wanna cheat, I guess this is the way to do it. You can't uh, buy a super anti-fire. All right, we were able to buy it. So this thing will help us. Essentially, it'll make you immune to the dragon fighter. So what level does uh, anti-fires require to make for herbore? So we probably could make them by ourselves or something. Anti-fire potion. Requires level. What level does it take to make? <laughs> Made by a player with level 69 herbore. Uh oh. So there's no way we'd be able to get 69 herb bar, right? Is it on the list level 69? We can scroll down there. So, this is pretty much how we're going to defeat the dragon. Anti-fire, anti-fire potion of heart level 69. So we're not getting level 69, but we can buy the dragon fire potion. That'll help us uh, survive a little bit longer. Draw all of these things. We'll go to legacy, because maybe that was, maybe that was faster. Combat mode, legacy. And then we just have to go back to Karamja, back onto that thing. So we'll be backwards for round three. Here and there we're gonna get a few more things, right? You sold your headless arrows for one million dollars. You have one million dollars. You could buy, what were you gonna buy? We were gonna buy something. So we couldn't buy the obsidian cape even for 300K. So we're not going to buy it because the guide says 75K, right? We were going to buy a cape. I think we bought this cape on another character, 114k. Let's just buy a glory, an amulet of glory. That will maybe give us a little bit more magic attack. Hopefully it will. Let me get equipped that. Oh, we can't buy the amulet of glory. We want to buy the charged amulet of glory. That's right. So we're just going to buy these things. These might help us out. So if you're an Iron Man, I would just say uh, level up, maybe get 50 defense before trying the dragon, or level 69 herbore. One of those two. So if we go here, we could just uh, put that in here, just deposit that, and then just go here, go to the Grand Exchange, go collect that uh, as item, and then just wear the amulet, put the dragon anti-fire potion on, bring everything, and then go for round three. So we couldn't buy the cape. Alright, let's, so let's try a third time. I think this is the third time. So essentially, if we drink this thing, this thing should uh, help us tremendously. Because before, that works absolutely impossible, right? So you go through here, drink the anti-fire potion. Because uh, you could trade. So when you attack him, we drank the anti-fire potion. We didn't. We drank the anti-fire potion. So now we're protected from his dragon fire for three minutes. Let me sit back here and shoot him. 
Dragonflare is still doing tons of damage. Oh! Are we safe? Are we safe here? I wonder if he would have uh, stopped throwing fires at this point if we didn't use the potion. Hmm. We don't know. So we just stopped launching fires. Can we do damage to him? He started launching fires again. So as soon as you hit him, he starts uh, fires. We have the fire shield on and we have the potion, but this is probably going a lot quicker than EOC. We can see we actually, actually did damage to him. We just have to make sure to eat, make sure that we don't get ourselves killed, but I think we are making progress here. Perfect, so he's uh, stopped casting fires again for a little bit. So he gives you little breaks or something. So all we have to do is hit him like four or more times or something. So this place is really good if you're looking for a safer, safer spot to fight the dragon. This spot would be it, but I imagine he's still going to do quite a bit of damage to us. I imagine here's a place that's safe, hopefully. Hopefully it is, because uh, if we need to run I haven't hit them yet. So level 51 magic is uh, not very good against him. Because we are using our strongest ability, right? We are using our strongest uh, wind ability. Should we have gotten fire runes or something? He's not weak to any combat style. Shield protects you. The potion protects you from some of the dragon's power. His damage is just so ridiculous, right? 45s, 70s, 90s, still with it. Oh, we hit him again, 58. We hit him for 58. <laughs> 107. Oh, 122. We could see how powerful Legacy is. EOC would have never, never, ever done that kind of damage. We better eat here, though. He's starting to breathe fires again at us. Holy jeez. The Alvarg fight. Happy Alvarez. Maybe this episode's so long it'll have to be like two parts or something. Or it'll be like a 30 to 40 minute. Oh, 144 magic. We just have to hit him one more time. One more time and then we can finally... So we were going to give up, right? We were like, uh, we're not going to be able to defeat him. Let's go home. Like, uh, if we failed this time, right? If we failed this time, we were thinking, let's just go home. Do the Dragon Slayer quest later. We need some more... Magic, but we just need it. There we go. We hit him. We hit him one more time. We just have to hope that he doesn't uh, respawn. Oh, so don't interrupt the cutscene, I guess. We tried to eat. It wouldn't let us eat. But now we can rip off Alvar's head. We finally defeated him. He's so hard. He is so hard to defeat. Maybe if we had more defense. So do we run out of here? We took his head. Home teleport. Get out of here. Just go uh, archaeology guild or something. Teleport to the archaeology guild. <clears throat> do we just go? Where do we go now? Now what do we do? Let's go back, back to the quest. Right, so we're already way past all of this. Um, take his head to him in Edgeville. Quest complete. So we just home teleport to Edgeville. That quest was so scary. We had to fight the dragon like three times. And the third time we had to cheese it with the anti-fire potion and we still almost got killed. And we had to cheese him by hiding behind the rocks. And we still almost got killed by hiding behind the rocks. But there's how we uh, managed to finally defeat Alvard. Open the door. <clears throat> Open the door. Talk to Oziax. There we go. Good day to you. Have you slayed the dragon yet? Yes, we have. We slayed him. I have the deed is done. So we get all of this uh, strength experience, defense experience, a rune plate body, anti dragon fear. So the rune plate body was probably just came out at this point. So, let's do the strength experience that Level 30 strength all the way up to level, what, 38 strength. And then level 31 defense all the way up to level 39 defense. Perfect. So, we use the other thing on the on magic. That's all right. Defense and strength went up. Maybe there's a more quest. Oh, the elemental quest. They require defense. So, if we do the elemental workshop uh, 2 and 3, maybe... Maybe we need level 40 crafting and level 40 smithing before we do those, but we finally defeated the dragon. 
and we got the experience rewards.